just one or two NCAA schools, but for, for, for every conference and every school in the conferences of how much money can be spread around and how much money all these other teams can make just by having the playoff system and how much sense everything fucking makes. And it, it just doesn't get done. And nobody thinks of it. And it's just, it, 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 it's like banging your head into a brick fucking wall. You can come up with all these fucking uh, reasons for it, and still the people from the BCS who run it are going to say, well, no, because it, it takes away from the bowl games. And uh, it, the, bowl, the problem is, even if you have the playoff system and you have the other teams play in, in you know, like the fucking Poinsettia Bowl and all the other fucking bowls that don't fucking matter, those bowls still won't matter. So their, their fucking argument that, well, you take away from all the other bowl games and all the other teams, well, the bowls don't mean shit anyway. Unless you're playing in a national championship game, all the other bowls, even the other BCS bowls don't fucking matter. Who gives a shit about those? The only, one, the only game we want to see is a national championship game anyway. So right there, they're fucking shitting on their own logic, which is highly illogical. And thus, I rest my case. Now, speaking of the Auburn Tigers... Cam Newton has been uh, declared eligible to play a couple days after they said he was not going to be eligible. No, 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 no. Not a couple days. A day. A day. <laughs> a day after Auburn comes out and says, no, Cam Newton will not be eligible to play. And we even think that some of the games in the past he was not eligible to play. The NCAA comes in as, you know, super cocksuckers and say, no. He's eligible because it was his father who did it, and he knew nothing about it. This sounds Are you more, fucking kidding me? This sounds more like he's eligible because we want them to win, because if they don't, that would give ammunition for people to say right, TC users. Right, everything else. That's exactly what it is, and everybody sees right through it. But leave it to the fucking NCAA to not give a shit. Hey, everybody, we're, we're, we're totally fucking over everything and throwing out all the fucking rules for this guy for a special case, but hey... Don't worry about it. It's because it's 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 the truth. It's the real. Get the fuck out of here. It, that <laughs> means joke. Jeremy Bloom, a couple years ago, almost like almost had his amateur status stripped from him because of money he made doing the Olympics for another almost, sport. He did. I believe he did. He he was playing football for the Colorado Buffaloes, and he went to the Olympics and we won a medal in skiing or something like that. Correct. And uh, he's actually well, he was gonna they were they were gonna feature him and along with all the other gold medal winners on the on the Wheaties box. And the NCAA said if he did that, he would have been stripped of his fucking amateur status. He was stripped. It, they, it cut his college football career by two years. Yeah. So look at that. That guy couldn't be on a fucking Wheaties box for winning a gold medal in the Olympics. And the NCAA is going to say that because this guy's father asked for $180,000 that, quote, unquote, this Cam Newton didn't know what was going on. Fuck you. How dumb do you fucking think everybody is? This is fucking stupid. It's shit like this that enrages everybody. And why a lot of people just say, fuck it, throw up their hands and don't even bother with college football anymore. Because fucking these guys make no fucking sense with their roles. Cam Newton's okay? No, he's not. The guy took fucking money. Auburn took money. Their whole season should be wiped out. But the problem is they won't do it until five years later. They'll take away Cam Newton's Heisman, which he's going to win. They're going to fucking strip Auburn of a national, a possible national championship if they win it. They're going to wipe away all their wins. They're going to do all this shit. And you know who suffers for it? The kids who are going to be going to Auburn Five years from now. Not Cam Newton. Cam Newton's going to be in the NFL making fucking money. He don't give a shit at that point. And he's not going to... How can they punish him? They're not going to punish him. He'll be fine. I have never heard King yell this much. It makes no fucking sense. It's so in fucking infuriating. And the NCAA has the fucking gall to say that they have, they're out looking for the best interest of people and for their scholar athletes. Fuck, they're not. They're out looking for their own fucking back pocket. They're looking for their own fucking cash. That's all they give a shit about. And they'll deal with the consequences when it fucking comes around. Oh, now something happened? Okay, well, five years later, yeah, give your Heisman back. 
And, uh, yeah, you really didn't win that national championship. So, so send that back. Oh, and you're ineligible for two years. Good luck recruiting for the next couple of years, by the way. Yeah, and, and that's the problem is that Auburn's going to get stuck with it, and their players who are there five years from now are going to be fucked like USC is right now. Because of the whole Reggie Bush situation. Yeah, there, there were but guys. What's that who, of the Cam Newton? That's no hair off his ass. No. There, and there were guys recruited for USC before those sanctions went down. They're like, oh, look, there's still a lot of. You know, yes, Pete Carroll's gone, but there's an NFL experienced head coach there. Uh, they've got talent because USC is a very well known school, so they've still got some talent there. Uh, you know, they're, you're going to have a pretty good shot at playing in a BCS Bowl or a national title game. Oh, wait Whoops. a second. Whoops. You know, and, and and that's the problem. And then the NCAA says, well, for everybody who's there, we'll waive that whole one-year transfer rule so you can go somewhere and play right now. That's not the point. The point is deal with the shit as it is now. The, what, what it is now, what we're looking at is that a man asked for $180,000 to have his son go play at Mississippi State. Mississippi State said, no, we're not paying you that money. As they should have. Then all that, then all of a sudden, Cam Newton's playing at Auburn. And we're expected to believe that Auburn didn't pay him any money, that all of a sudden they said, all right, we were asking for 180000 but now, fuck it, we'll just go for free. Bullshit! And if you believe that, you're a fucking retard. So now we got to sit here and fucking wait and look at, at a player that we know got fucking paid to play, that a school is basically cheating, using an ineligible, an ineligible player, Gets to go for the, the, the BCS National Championship game. Has a, a guy who's going to win the Heisman that's going to be stripped because he's going to be caught having it. I mean, the evidence is coming out. It'll be there. The, I mean, it's already there as it is. It's already out. There should be already the fact, enough. The, to fact, be... the, fact that, the fact that he asked for the money is the violation in itself. That right there makes him ineligible. But the NCAA and, and Auburn can, and finally Auburn, the team that's going for the National Championship that has a Heisman candidate as the quarterback, the school itself came out and said he's not eligible. He's not going to play anymore. And the NCAA steps in and says he's fine. It's like what fucking sense does that make? It's as if the NCAA. The only other way they could have shafted some of the other teams like TCU is, oh yeah, we're going to transfer all these top players for one game from all these other colleges to Auburn so that they can have a better chance to stay undefeated and cock block this team. Unbelievable. Yeah, and you know what's, you know what's going to happen, too. The NCAA, uh -uh. the NCAA is going to investigate. And be like, yeah, I know. We did say he was eligible, but yeah. So uh, now Kate, we have new evidence that's come to light that says, oh, he did know what was going on. You know, it, but wait, it's, but it's, wait, NCAA. You had just, this evidence five years ago when it was going on. Oh, well, you know, some stuff gets misplaced. It's, it's so, Kane, tell us how you really feel about Cam Newton. <laughs> You know, it, it, Good you, you look at it, and it's so fucking infuriating because anybody with half a fucking brainstem can fucking see. This guy should not be allowed to play. I don't yeah. care how fucking talented he is, and yet it, fucking, and, away with and yet it. fucking Michael Phelps, a real truly gifted athlete, gets caught smoking pot and he loses all the sponsors. It's fucking and now bullshit. What you're looking at, and what you're looking at now too is, I mean, you have people on. Networks such as ESPN, which I often rag on, and, and rightfully so, and you have other uh, other sports networks and, and other sports reporters as well come out and saying, "Well, now this matter is closed, and now uh, we can just get on with voting for the Heisman and seeing the national championship and all that other stuff." And and that that's even more fucking infuriating because you have these people basically enabling the NCAA to cheat and to look out for their own monetary interests. Uh, and throw reason and logic to the wind uh, simply because they don't want to look bad right now. They don't care if they look bad five years from now because uh, they'll come out later and then punish people that had nothing to do with Cam Newton yeah, cause or if, what Cam Newton did at Auburn. If, cause if, if they do do that five years from now, which will most likely happen, it's a lot easier to just say if Auburn wins the national title to go, oh, well, you're just going to ship the trophy over to Oregon. Then going, oh, well, you know, you're ineligible, so we'll say we're going to have to leapfrog a non-BTS conference.